how to increase our finances through passive income okay hi guys my name is Jan I'm the founder of the present where we discuss business finance and life related matters and in today's video we're going to answer a question coming from Diding Kubero Conception right so she said here that happy new year so actually it's it's this is a screenshot for quite some time now and uh, how to increase your income or your finances through passive income so just to be clear guys at least we understand what passive income is it is basically earning money with minimal effort okay so there are three types of income we have earned income okay where, where in fact you need to exert effort if you are an employee if you are self-employed then you are earning earned income okay you have you belong in that category and the second one is what we call portfolio income if you are investing in the stock market mutual funds forex or trading in those things then that is what you call portfolio income and we also have passive income right which is technically earning money with minimal effort you know so in this video we're gonna share with you guys the five major things that you can do in order for you to create a passive income for yourself okay so here are here are the things that we have done so far in our lives and we also want to share it with you because it's very very effective especially during the internet era and because of technology it is easier for us to achieve this compared to like 50 years ago are you, are you ready all right here we go so the first one is that you can always start a business the reality is guys if, guys if you really want to earn passive income the best way to achieve it and the no-brainer way of achieving it is to start a business as of now we currently have two businesses and when the business is earning right even if we are actively doing something with that business or we are not really actively doing something with that business as long as it has a system in place okay then it's easy for us to create or or to start a business so that we will earn passive income right so the major difference between an employee and an entrepreneur is that an employee has to work in exchange for money right an entrepreneur creates business systems so that the system will create its own money-making machine and that's the reason why the entrepreneur is earning money even if he or she is not exerting a lot of effort for the business but then again don't don't like um, think that you're not going to work for your business obviously when you're starting out your business you still have to think of ways for you to create a system that is generating you revenue however as you as you improve as you adapt as to what's happening to the world then it's easier for you to make that money because you already are knowledgeable about that specific thing so when you start a business that's the first thing that you can do to create passive income the second one is what we call be a content creator right if you are creating content on facebook if you are creating content on youtube then have you noticed that when you watch videos on youtube and facebook there are moments when you can see advertisements that are popping up and that's the reason why content creators are constantly creating content it's because they are earning money out of it it's through adsense it's it's through advertising revenue okay so in our case we we are producing content on Facebook and that's the reason why we are earning money out of that and we are also creating content on YouTube and we are also getting advertising revenue out of it so that's the common way for you to earn money through content creation but there are other ways like brand deals right you can also get notice and if you get notice you're gonna get other engagements like speaking engagements book deals or whatsoever okay so in fact in our case uh when we were starting out a huge chunk of our revenue stream is coming from content creation but right now it's not really the main thing that we are earning from because we have found out other ways to earn money right but when we were starting out in our business in the present then content creation was one of the ways that we can earn money okay even up, even up to now so the good thing about content creation as well especially if it's in video format is that when people are watching your videos that you produce or uploaded one year ago two years ago then you can still earn earn money out of it in fact in our case we still have videos that um, that were uploaded like a year ago and people are still watching it even up to today 
right? So we are not really earning or we're not really doing anything about it anymore, but we are still getting paid because of the content that we have produced before. Okay, so that is content creation. The third thing that you can also do and the most common one is what we call invest in real estate, right? As of now, we currently have two real estate. One is a condo unit, one is a raw lot. And um, in terms of real estate business, you can earn money through passive income through renting it out or leasing it out. So if you have a condo unit, for example, if, you, if you're paying on a monthly basis around 25,000 a month to the bank, and if you are renting it out or leasing it out to a tenant for 30,000 pesos, then you have a monthly profit of 5,000 pesos, right? And the good thing about it is that it's like saying that your tenant is the one who's paying your mortgage, but the asset still belongs to you. So that's the beauty of having real estate. And you can also leverage the banks. You cannot borrow money from the banks if you're going to use it for stocks. You cannot borrow the money from the bank if you're gonna use it for mutual funds, right? But you can always borrow money if you're going to use it for real estate, as long as you fulfill the requirements that they have and you pass the application, okay? So this applies in the Western space or even here in the Philippines and a lot of entrepreneurs or business people are doing this as well, right? So I understand that real estate is quite quote unquote expensive if you're going to pay it upfront, but if you're gonna pay it like on a monthly basis, especially right now that real estate developers are in need of cash flow, it's because of the pandemic, right? And you can also maximize that. They are, they are offering flexible payment terms like way back Pre-pandemic, there were only like two years to pay, but now you can avail of a certain real estate for less than that, or, or like longer term, like five years to pay without interest, and this is the monthly payment that you're gonna pay because they need cash flow, okay? So real estate is one of the best ways that you can do, right? Tip number four is you can also be an affiliate. Okay, so what does this mean? Affiliate is basically you believe in a certain product and because you are a believer of that certain product, you are willing to share it to the people, right? It's like being a salesperson of that certain thing. So in our case, what we are doing right now is we are also affiliates of eToro. Why? Because to begin with, we are users of eToro. We are using that as the platform or the brokerage firm in order for us to invest in cryptocurrencies, in commodities, in ETFs, in stocks, right? And even in Forex and copy trade. And because we like it, right? And we also have quote unquote influence in terms of business and finance space. We came to a conclusion that we became affiliates and that's the reason why we are also sharing it. By the way, if you want to open an account in that case, you can check the description so that you can open an account and you will be given $100,000 virtual account or demo account for you to try it out, okay? So what I like about this is that it's easier for you to market, it's because you are already a user and you're also, you also like the product, right? It's easier to market something if you believe in it. It's harder to market something if you don't believe in it, right? So I do not encourage you to mention or ref or like push a certain product or service if you are not a believer of that thing, okay? So why is this considered to be a passive income in our case? It's because when, you, when we put the links in the description or both Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, or even TikTok, when people look at it in our content and when they open an account, right? We also get commissions out of it because they, we are the reasons why they got to know more about the product get it so far so being an affiliate is one of the things that you can do as well you don't own the product you don't own the service but you are helping marketing that certain product or service and that's the reason why you are earning money out of it isn't that amazing okay and tip number five is you can also write a book now of all the tips that i mentioned this one is still in the works for us it's still on in progress so we are really hoping and working towards finishing our book 5Ms to Financial Freedom in this year, you know? 
so uh, that's one of my dreams and aspirations so that it will become it will also help a lot of people out in terms of finances like in our case we currently have an online program the five and financial freedom online program and we also have a startup blueprint online program so the five and financial freedom is really more about your finances right your step-by-step -step guide in order for you to live a financial free life but for our Startup Blueprint online program, it's a business course. So it's like your step-by-step -step guide to starting your own business, okay? But those things are good for us, of course. We are also customers of our certain of our products, but it would be better if there is a written format for it, and that is a book. So I'm sharing it to you because I can see and I know that writing a book can help us, both of us, um, earn passive income so obviously the book has to mean something right like you shouldn't write a book just for the sake of writing a book you should write a book because it's going to add value to someone else so in our case we are in the educational space so it ha we have to make sure that when people read it they understand it and they also learn something out of it and it will also help them change their lives as well right so that's our case so hopefully, those are the five things that uh, you can do, that we can do in order for us to increase our passive income. Or if you don't have a passive income yet, maybe one of these things can help you start creating your own passive income. Now obviously, before we go to the question of the day, if this video added value to you in any way, please help us out by clicking the like button so that it will help the algorithm. And feel free to also comment the answer to your to this question, which is, how can you build passive income streams? So I'm pretty sure that these five things are very, or should I say, are not enough. Maybe there are more ways for us to create passive income. So I would like to know more about your ideas in the comment section, right? By the way, my name again is Jan, and thank you so much for watching this video, and see you on the next one.